Then in ribbon bar, click Create Geometry, or in Operation Navigator, right click on Program, Insert, and Geometry, in New Dialog Box, in Geometry Subtype, select Workpiece. Find and run the Create Operation command, now in Dialog Box. Change the type to Mill Contour. And in Operation Subtype, click on Cavity Mill icon. Change this dimensions and check it out in Graphic Window. Try to do it and complete the job. Change the dimensions of Tool and OK the Dialog Box. Very good. Back again in Cavity Mill Dialog Box. Check the Tool Axis, Z Direction Positive. Path setting, method is finish, cut pattern is follow part, step over, 50% of tool diameter, and in new dialog box, cut direction. Select climb cut, or conventional cut, you can see its figures, Find and run the Create Operation command, now in Dialog Box. Now change your desired options and machining parameters. Change the settings and your desired parameters according to this video tutorial. Find and run the Create Operation command, now in Dialog Box. Now change your desired options and machining parameters.
Next step, in ribbon bar, find and run the create operation command, now in dialog box. Now change your desired options and machining parameters. Very good. Also in ribbon bar, application tab, process specific, click on mold, mold wizard environment. First step, in ribbon bar, mold wizard tab, part validation, find and run the check region command. In dialog box, find and click on calculate icon. Try to do it and complete the job. Now in face tab, keep the draft angle limit to 3 degrees, and then click on set color of all face icon. Then you can check your part region, OK the box, and save the part, and close. Now open again, and run the other part, and see the arrangement. Click Edit Insert Pocket, and in New Dialog Box, change the type to 1, and its radius is 10, and apply the box, OK and Exit, now you can see the new shape of work pieces. Now in Dialog Box, select Index, or one of your desired standard catalogs, choose it and apply the command, and you can see the new component that inserted to the mold, rotate the model and check it out. Next step is ejector pin straight, find it in resource bar, reuse library, and standard mold parts, and insert, now in dialog box, new component, and then in tool, tool type is component, and select all of standard parts, do it and finish the job. And then repeat this action for bottom side of mold,